Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Pesticide Not Required, shall we? I played the demo for this game right when it was available, and I had a great time with it. It's a crazy mix of Stardew Valley and Vampire Survivors. If you think that's not possible, check this game out. It gets absolutely wild. Good friend of the channel, Alex, told me that this has finally launched in full release. It's on sale right now. I'm going to put a link in the description for the Steam page if you want to check it out. It's super cheap. I think it's like $5.80 American. So anyway, um, I'm going to give this game a shot and see what has changed in the full release. Do I need to adjust any of the settings? Um, absolutely not. That looks great. Okay, how to play. Plant seeds by walking over empty farm plots. Indeed. Uh, use left or mouse, left or right bumper to change the selected seed from your inventory. Walk near thirsty plants to water them. Your water count is visible at the top of the screen. Walk near a water well to refill it. Visit the merchant, hilarious, at the end of each day to buy seeds and other goodies. Tip, focus on buying weapon seeds. It's a good tip. Buying weapon seeds in the shop and growing them, harvesting multiple of the same weapon will level it up. Use movement direction to aim weapons or with twin stick controls. Um, and so uh, I'm going to use movement based, but I'll see if I want twin stick. All right. So you see how, look at this. It is vampire survivors. The frog tongue is like the... Um, I'm planting seeds. You start with some seeds. It's like the whip that you start with and i'm uh let's see the seeds are kind of growing i'm watering them by just standing near them so we're going to try to give them water but i'm out of water so you got to go up to the well and this is hilarious i mean we're killing flies and we're doing stardew valley activity at the same time and we grew something so you get experience by doing all of this stuff it's kind of interesting because you get experience by mining by fishing by fighting by farming all of the stuff from stardew so what do we want to get? Do we want to get knowledge? Um, yellow paint. Uh, let me move this mouse cursor. It's just in the way. Uh, gain 30% effectiveness to future experience gain changes, but you do less damage. Um, this is more damage and more planting speed. And this is our crops get thirstier, but we get more experience. No, let's go with that yellow paint. Look at that. Um, so max health on level up we can get more yellow paint we've got one out of three or we can get the ruby um i'm gonna keep going with this yellow paint it just means that we plant stuff faster now i'm out of seeds oh my gosh look at all those ducks so we have to wait till the end of the day oh let's go get this there we go um choose our reward so you can see here the blood sausage gives you more more max health more health regen the prospecting ore helps you mine however Generally in this, it's like you, fishing just helps with fishing, but this, some of these take away from the other, so it's like, it sort of incentivizes doing just one type of job or two types of jobs. Um, this makes our projectile speed go down and our experiencing go down. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just get fishing. I need to get some water here, and I've watered the plants, and they're growing. And the shop is opened up, and we got a little money. So let's go to the shop. So I have 112 money, and I can buy weapon seeds, which are on this bookshelf, or I can buy wheat seeds, radish seeds, and yam seeds. And you can see how they tell you right here, the growth time, the crop thirst, the experience, yield. Now what we're trying to do is kill stuff quickly um, so that we can just do whatever we want. So weapon seeds are great for that. But these are what you get for... Not only just making money to spend at the merchant, but this is how you get experience. See the experience yield? Um, so yam seeds are very expensive, but they yield a lot. So do I want fairy dance? Orbits around while moving further away and then back inward. Sends out bombs and twin size. Um, I like these twin size. They're expensive, though. They, all of these weapons are expensive, so I'll buy one, and that's all I can buy. Um, so we just, you know, exit. 
All right, and we're gonna grow the twin scythe, and then uh, I get some water, and we'll water these guys up. And so that's going. And I'm gonna prospect. So you see when you mine, you see how much money I just got right there? I need to water this, because it's ready. Look at that, there's a sword in the ground. That is awesome. And we got it. So now, look at this, we got a new weapon that we grew out of the farm. Do not ask, just embrace it. Now, if you go to these fishing spots, oops, we could fish. Okay. So we can go poppers, which again is good for projectile speed and planting speed. This gives you more experience but less money, and this gives you um, damage but less knockback. Let's go for enlightenment. I always want that anyway. Let's mine this gold over here. Takes a while. Okay. Um, broccoli says 20% 20, 20 crop yield, 15% apple spawns, which you can eat for health, I believe, but minus three water capacity, which is a huge hit. I'm going to take foxglove, which just gives better crop yield and attack duration. So for any of my attacks, there we go. And um, I have nothing to plant, so we're going to use our money on that next time. So the fishing net gives us less attack size and less experience gain, but um, it gives us more fish spawn, so we can just do more fishing if we want to focus on fishing. The jelly is health and regen at the expense of resistance, and this is just, beefy is just like, I like it. I'm soft, so I like when it's only positive, I, and being beefy just sounds good. Who doesn't want to be a beefy frog? All right, so you could stand here and fish. And you see, we we uh, did some fishing there, and we're making a ton of money. We caught a fish. Um, plus one max health on level up, 25% pickup range, and improved pickaxe. I actually like mining a bit, so this is me getting foolish and, you know, diversifying too much. But watch the mining. You see, you, look how much money we have from mining. All right, let's go to the shop. Fill up. Get these gems. And we're at 1,500 money. So we can buy seeds, but we can also buy um, weapons. So sends out an unstoppable hay bale that crushes enemies. Blasts a beam of water that follows and persistently rotates around you swipes downward on your left or right side okay so what i'm going to do actually is just buy all of this and oh it looks like you can only buy three of any type um okay i thought i was going to buy three of each one but you can only buy three total okay well that's fine and then now what do we want to plant i want to plant um these grapefruits just because they give so much experience and my farm plot is small but oh wait a minute that's right you can you could buy this over here to expand your farming plot oh my gosh the pets i forgot the pets are so good this guy he waters plants this little elephant who doesn't want an elephant and then um i'm just going to take max radish okay great so i bought a ton of stuff but now, look how big our farm plot is, and we're just going to go over here and plant all of our seeds. And you can see that our buddy, the elephant, will eventually start to water this for us. And there he goes. Now, we can water too to help him out, which we will. Alright, the katana has leveled up, so do we want more katanas and more damage, or one more katana and um, a boost in damage and projectile speed? Uh, I'm going to go with uh, a boost in damage and just have my katanas be a little faster and do more damage. Okay. So now, what you, what I try to do is I kind of look around at how I'm doing um, in terms of do my guys need water, and then if my pets are able to take care and automate some of this, then I'm going to go do another job, like fish or mine or something like that. Okay. Um, I'm just going to keep going with enlightenment. I love leveling up.
Nej. Practice makes perfect. Plus 1% fishing speed when a fish is caught. So I'm going to try this because this is like really, really saying you should be fishing all the time. I'm getting hit just waiting for my fish. Ooh, we got a giant fish. That's sweet. Um, uh, oh, fine. I'll go with sloth. I hate being slower, but the idea of extra experience is too tempting for me. All right, pick up all this money, get your water. Yep, and let's go fishing. Oh, the shop is open. Um, okay, let's go get it. Okay, so we have 890. There's no pets available. What do we want to do? Um, I don't know, this fairy dance sounds pretty cool. And then we can buy uh, Max on that. All right, great. Sweet. All right, we're planting them. All right. Elephant, I'm planting everything, so let's get the water going here. That is a boss. You see that giant praying mantis? Oh, my God. That's scary. We're going to hit this guy. All right, fairy dance. Uh, we're going to go with extra damage from these fairies. Hit him. Don't mess with my fairies. Tinkerbell will annihilate you. All right. I'm going to go with crop yield and attack duration. That means the fairies should last longer. I don't know if the katanas or the size last any longer, but that's my hope is that the fairies will just be rolling around being annoying and out there. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, I need to be fishing. I always forget what I'm supposed to do. Let's finish fishing. Got a big fish. Okay. Um, I guess we'll go with the crab. I want to kill this guy. He's annoying me. Sweet. All right. We get the treasure chest. Open it up. And we can... Um, have a toucan or an elephant. Let's go with the toucan so we have one of each. You can stack them, by the way. You can have two elephants and they'll both water. Okay. So it says stock of six. So I can buy bouncy ball. I could buy pitchfork. I could buy tongue lash. Um, it's basically the whip from that one game that doesn't have vampires in it. It's so good. We're going to go bouncy ball. All right. And I'm going to max this out. And then now we have a good amount of money. We're going to buy the bigger farm plot. Um, yep. And then we're going to just, uh, max out potato seeds. And let's go. All right, so our pets are going to plant and water for us. Now, they can't do everything, so we can help them. But this allows us to go focus on, like, mining. Look at this. I'm mining and fishing at the same time. That's how I do things. Okay. Um, uh, I don't really want any of these. Let's re-roll. Um, I'm going to go with the strength potion and just do more damage. My damage is really, really... I feel like it's lagging behind. Um, did you guys finish? Let me go help them with the fields. Yeah, the elephant can't do it all. So the we planted everything. 
but bouncy ball great give me more one more elephant would be helpful um give me two bouncy balls go bouncy ball All right, the potatoes are out. Hey everybody, let me interrupt the video for a moment to talk about Iconi Island and Earthlock Adventure. This is a game I played previously on the channel, checking it out an earlier version of it on PC. And now on March 21st, there's a Blooming Beginnings 1.5.0 update on Steam and Epic Store that includes a completely new onboarding flow with a new guidance system as well as changes to some of the earlier quests to help players get straight into the narrative and the game is now going to be coming to PlayStation and Xbox on March 21st so be sure to check it out I'll put links in the description below about this it's a super cute and charming title and it's also multiplayer all right everybody back to the video Yeah, it's a little hard for me to uh, get everything in there and enough. Um, uh, a bucket sounds... No, I like improved tools. Alright. Ooh, cat. Yeah, a cat helps me attack. Go, cat. And then what is this? Bouncy ball? Um, fairy dance? No, we're going to go max fairies. And then we're going to go... Um, max wheat. Sweet. There we go. All right, we're going to go with attack size and crop yields and less apples. Um, crit damage and crit chance sounds pretty good. All right. Um, more fairies, please. And, uh, yeah, leave them on the screen longer. More duration, more fairies. Do it. All right, I need some water. I hope my cat is taking care of business. Okay, good. Let's fish. Got it. Okay. Oh, my God. Big boss. Um... I gentle farmer is pretty sweet. You want to focus on being a farmer. Do less damage. Do less crit damage. Um, no. We're going to go with foxglove. And uh, I will go ahead and get uh, the strength potion. I do want to take out this giant spider. It's a problem. And look how much money we have, though, now. It's pretty crazy. Alright, and the shop is open, so let's go ahead and get it. Okay, so it's time to... Um, we're going to go with fairies. Oh, no, I do have these sides, though. Yeah, let's go with sides. Let's just keep leveling up stuff that we have, and then I'm going to buy the watermelon seeds. These are expensive, so we can't have that many, um, but and then we could buy these. They should be easily able to be planted. Get 
Get out of here, Spider-Man. We got him. Um, cow. Heck yeah. I love having lots of pets, but the cow helps you fertilize. All right. Um, give me more size. This is what we want. We want like 50 of these things. Frequency, yes. Heck yeah. Look at this. Plus four. Now that's a lot of size. Oh, I need water. My elephant can't do all of this on his own. Actually, he kind of can. Um, rain dance is pretty useful, but we need strength potion. I'm failing on damage. I can't even pick up all the money I have. I think there's a pet that helps you pick stuff up. That's what I really need. Um, yep, strength potion. Man, the fish just give you so much experience. It's so sweet. Um, no pets available, sadly. We have a lot of size, and we're all in on the size. Max. And then hit me with yams. No, wait. Grapefruit. Max. Exit. Um, look at this. Nimble fingers. That's pretty sweet. Nimble. Uh-oh. We got a boss coming in. Yes. Alright, so this is more. This is uh, more frequency, though. And it had some knockback. So I want more size, but I like the frequency... And I like the knockback idea. Strength potion all the way. Um, I'll go with improved pickaxe for those times when I'm mining, which is almost never. Well, I guess I'm mining now, aren't I? My cat is going crazy. And yeah, we need the we need the watering. So then I can go out and fish or do whatever I want. We got double elephants. Did you think that was possible? It is. Tremendous. Okay. And we can buy another toucan to plant seeds for us. Okay, let's do that. We're going to buy the toucan. And then we're going to buy more fields. And then um, I guess we'll go into uh, fairies. And then we're going to go max grapefruit. Sweet. So at this point, like I have an enormous field that you can see, and my guys are basically just automating it. I need this magnetized gem so badly for the pickup range. They're like completely automating the farming portion. Now, of course, I can help them, and I will, but um, frequency. I want the fairies always out. And then... Yeah. Blue paint. Attack frequency. Fishing yield. Max. 
Max level on fairy dance. Nice. Plus four. Give me all of them. And, um... Yeah, fast and frequent is what I want. The crit is nice, but it's just... If they're coming out constantly, um, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, Reroll. Oh, fine. Yellow paint. It's getting wild here. I have so much money, I don't even know what to do. I can't even pick it up. I should. I'm trying to pick it up so that I can go to the shop and buy everything. Well, we're max on that, so we might as well get max on fairies, or uh, scythes as well, and then get a bigger farm, just because we can, and then buy, you know, all the pumpkins that you can, and then buy a bigger farm. And then let's go. Uh, yeah, chalice. Hmm. Wow. I think I took some damage. And by I think, I know I did. Projectile speed. But that's okay. There's, there's apples. Those exist. I can eat. Boy, these guys are getting much more challenging. All right, we maxed out size. Time to get some new weapons. Blue paint. The shop is opened, but let's see if I could... Uh, I don't know. I don't feel like I can take that guy down very easily. Uh, all right. I'll buy a bigger field, and... Um, I guess let's just max out katanas, and then... Max out that. Great. No one defeats me. Do you see how many fairies I have? All right. Um, more frequency. Um, yeah, let's go with pull day. Yep, give me more. Give me the chop, chop, chop with the katanas as much as you can. Oh, I'm out of water. All right. Bam. Well, the golden retriever I've been looking for, that's what it is. It's a goldie. Um, pick up range and knockback is amazing, but uh, attack frequency is also good. I'm going to take the pick up range. I just am, like, not getting things. Um... Frequency. Give me more frequency. Pick up range. Now we're talking.
Alright. Fantastic. Um, I guess resistance. I don't know if that's just... I don't know if resistance is just block overall. How that works. Usually resistance is like... Describes to a particular status ailment. But I think in this it just means defense. Um, yeah, we'll take another Goldie for sure. Can you have too many Goldies? No. All right. And then we didn't max out Katana, so give me that. Give me another field. And then the most expensive thing you've got, max it. Let's go. I'm fishing and mining because I can. All right, we maxed out the katana. Now we got four more. And um, I actually like a little health regen. That could be helpful. Tart is okay. Pick up range. Um, I guess nimble fingers. I took some damage there that I didn't need to. Um, <laughs> Capybara, well, of course. Alright, um, well, we don't have Bouncy Ball leveled up, so let's max it. We can't get to farm any bigger, so just max that. And uh, let's go. Um, Chalice. There it is, the bouncy ball. And health regen, sure. Okay. Um, duration. Uh, I guess I'm going to go with less resistance and just do more damage. Bouncy ball maxed out. Um, nimble fingers, I suppose. Alright, um, I can only buy these. Max. Max. Um, 
Yep. Oh, I'm out of water. Let me help you guys with the watering. Oh boy, I just walked through those bees. That was not my best moment. Now we've used all of our seeds at least. Oh, there's two bad guys here. Go fast seems fun. I can move faster. I can also move faster. I'm very fast. However, the enemies are also moving in on me in a way that is uncomfortable. I mean, but what am I even going to buy? Uh, we can buy another Compubara, sure. And then we can buy this. And I guess buy that. And then this. And then this. I bought it all. All right, we maxed out Tongue Lash. So all of our weapons are maxed. And I guess I go Cleaver. Just do some more damage here. We did plant 50 crops in a day. How about that? Um, elephant just can't have enough. Fast and frequent, baby. Um, give me a kitty. So we did everything. We occupied all farming plots. Take some health regen, I suppose. We reached level 50 during a run. That's good. Wombo. 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 I turned into a giant frog. Look at that. I don't know what this means, but I'm just breaking everything. Oh my gosh. We did it. It's Jover. We won the run as Joe, and we survived the summer. And these are the Chivos. So we got all of these. And now we have 2,600 gems, which I guess we can use to buy stuff. Oh, cool. Huh. Oh, I see. So we unlocked uh, Billy Bob. We unlocked Mignon and Plotty. Awesome. This is hilarious. And these are the Chivos that we got. And this goes out here, which is just a giant farm, I guess. And maybe we're trying to fill this in. Awesome. Finished building it. And we can go to another level now. Um, to try out some more difficult phases. All right, everybody. Well, that was awesome. That game gets crazy. The first level is pretty easy, but you get a bunch of stuff unlocked, and I'm excited to see how the game changes when it's more difficult and uh, as we unlock more stuff. Let me know what you think of this game in the comments below. Everyone, thanks so much for watching. Take care.